Hi Virgo, this is Petra at IndigoTarot.club and I'm here to do a general psychic tarot reading for you for the month of July 2017. I've already shuffled and cut the cards and we're going to look at work, home, love, money, and unexpected for you. So the first three cards I have for you, Virgo, for work are Six of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, and Knight of Swords. The first thing I'm feeling is that some of you are going to receive a bonus and or a promotion. Some of you are going to be having to decide about your schedule or something that you do on a regular basis at your job. There's going to be a, a change coming forward to some groups of you and you are in one of the groups that has to decide between one way or a different way and you cannot not make a choice you have to choose one or the other the other message i'm getting for some of you is that there's a new person that's going to be employed at your job who is going to end up being a very good friend of yours a very close friend of yours in the future in the near future and this is within the next three to six months. So for those of you that have someone new coming in and you feel some way, some certain way about them, that's probably the person that you're going to become very good friends with in the near future. And it feels very positive. For home Virgo, I have the five of cups, the tower and the three of cups. The five of cups feels like something's going to be damaged at your house, possibly your car or something on your yard and it might be caused by a neighbor okay some of you i'm feeling like your car is parked out in the road and it's going to incur some damage from someone or something so if you normally park your car out on the road in front of your house for july you may want to you may want to park it in the driveway instead okay because that's what i'm feeling strongly from this card is that you're going to regret that you uh, parked it out there because of some kind of damage that it's going to receive. It's, it's, it's not major damage, it's some slight damage, but still. I can see and feel that it's going to really hurt you, bother you, that that happened. Okay, for the Tower and the Three of Cups for home, very soon, in July, you're going to invite some people over for a celebration. Some of you are going to be serving champagne at this celebration. Some of you are going to be, uh, some of you have made or bought some big white cake that has nuts lining the outside of it. I can see that. I can see the cake. And this is a big deal because some of you actually made this cake. Some of you also, some of you are cake decorators and I can see deviled eggs. Some of you are making deviled eggs for July and the deviled eggs and the cake, this is a big deal to you on whether or not the people are going to, your guests are going to enjoy them and, and appreciate them and really like like them. Um, and you put a lot of work into these things. Some of you made just the deviled eggs. Some of you made the cake. And some of you are making both of these things. Okay. But either way, I can see that it's very important to you that, that your guests really like them and enjoy them and appreciate them. And I'm, I'm feeling like a lot of people are going to be giving you a lot of compliments on on your food. For some of you, I'm feeling like there's going to be a tree that catches fire from lightning in July. It may cause you to have to stay at a hotel for a couple of nights for some reason. Okay. Could be a palm tree for some of you. I'm seeing a palm tree. Okay. For love, Virgo, I have the two of swords, ace of rods, and knight of swords. It feels like you are having to make a choice between who to see between two men. First, first and foremost, it feels like you're a woman and you have to make a choice between two men that want to go out with you. They both are planning to have sex with you. And this is not the first time that you've had sex with either of them. But they're both asking you out for the same day. And you're, you're having a hard time or you're going to have a hard time because you don't want to lie and tell the other one that you have some event going on when in actuality it's, it's another date offer. 
but this is what this feels like is there's um, two people that are asking you out and it's a very special date, but it happens to be on the same day. You're going to have to make a decision on who to say yes to and who to say no to. And whoever you say no to, you're not going to tell them it's a, it's a, another date. You're going to have to lie to them and say it's something else, but you feel bad about that, about lying. Okay, Virgo, for money, I have the Nine of Swords, Strength, and the Ten of Pentacles. The first thing I felt when I put the Strength card down is you're going to be um, buying a pet. You may have to choose between a cat or a bird and it's going to cost you some money because you, you don't have anything. You have to buy everything that goes along with that pet purchase. So it's going to cost you some money in July, but, but either one's going to make you very happy. It looks very positive. Some of you are having trouble figuring out how you're going to pay your bills. And I can see you praying in July heavily and by you praying heavily, you're going to get the answer or answers or solutions. They are going to come to you for those of you that do pray. If you pray heavily in July for an answer to this financial problem, you're going to get the solution or solutions. You're going to get them big time so that you can overcome this in July. And with the Ten of Pentacles, that's one of my favorite cards specifically for money because that is a treasure chest full of pentacles. So you're going to get some big chunk of money. Some of you are going to get some uh, gold, actually, or gold coins, either purchased or as a gift. But either way, this is some financial bulk coming into you in July. Okay. So for unexpected Virgo, I have the Seven of Swords, Ace of Swords, and Judgment. For those of you that get the gold, you have to make sure that you secure it because um, if you tell anyone, one of those persons might try to take some of it from you. So this is for those that are getting several gold coins or several gold pieces. You need to secure them somewhere and not tell anyone where you're, where you're putting them or even that you have them actually, <laughs> or even that you've purchased them or something. Um, hide them away in a very good spot. For others of you, some of you are going to be physically harvesting something from your garden. Um, others of you are working at some kind of volunteer community garden. And this is the time in July, some point in July or several events in July where you're going to actually be harvesting for that um, as a volunteer. And some of you are going to be going to a touring, a winery, and you're going to spend... Um, quite a bit of money on a bottle of wine, more than you would normally spend, like $40 or more. But this is your first time going to that winery and you don't know when you're going to go back there again. And you really like the taste of this one. So you're going to go ahead and spend that money on that bottle, which is going to be for you. Some of you are going to be buying it as a gift for some man. And then for judgment, it feels like some of you are going to be telling your spouse that you want a divorce. And you're going to be telling them during the same period of time what you expect monetarily from them and what they can ex expect from you. You're going to initiate and pay the legal fees for this divorce. So some of you in July are going to be telling your spouse that you um, want a divorce and you're going to be discussing the financials of it during that conversation as well. Okay, I hope that helped you, Virgo. I hope you enjoyed this reading for July 2017 and I look forward to seeing you next month. Thank you for watching. This is Petra at IndigoTarot.club.